Now I know, I know, oh my god, that's a f***ing surprise, right? You're surprised they didn't actually want to save you? They didn't want to save you? All they wanted to do was make some f***ing money! I don't know why I did that. Whatever. It's getting to the point to where you can't believe any of these people. You cannot believe any of them. When it comes to fact checking, you better check your facts. And can you get that from Google? Can you get that from search.com? Can you get that from DuckDuckGo? I don't know. How do you distinguish reality from falsehood whenever majority of the things that we're intaking are things that are on video it's 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 on your phone it's on you, you're just told these things and we're expected to believe them for two years we've been at this for two years we have been at this and i'm going to use sarcasm and i'm not going to speak directly about what we're doing but it is important that I do say that because, hey, we, even with my minuscule audience, it's important, I feel, to get the truth out there. I always felt like things weren't right. I always felt like, especially these past two years, there was something going on. There's something up with this. Is this true? Do you really need to take companies' products? to survive in the world or is it a case that there was an opportunity and the t opportunity was taken fully 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 advantage of by the right people who are in the position who could make that decision because they are in the know and a lot of times before the this information or this type of information hits the masses you know the plebs us before it hits us, they decide how they're going to disseminate this information, and they're going to make it as rosy and as cheeky and as beautiful and as great as they can without telling you the truth. What if I told you that in order for you to be healthy, you have to take this pill that I have, and this pill that I have is good for you. It's great for you. Eh, there's some side effects, but it's okay. If there's no side effects, you're going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, you can still be affected by the effects that the pill is trying to prohibit and stop. The pill can't stop that, but the pill can make you feel just a little bit better. Everything's bullshit, guys. Everything's bullshit. I, I do not believe anything anyone i don't believe anything anymore i am i feel like i'm done with it i feel like i'm done with it now we're going to go on and we're going to check out a video and we're going to try to break this down and try to understand what the hell is going on here there are doctors who do not agree with the mainstream narrative and they have information that is different than what we are being told um at, at least at a majority sense majority of our information is being given to us um in this with this one sense in mind and there are no ways that this is the only way this is the only way which is a red flag that is that should tell you something that if this is the only way I don't know. I don't know if this is the only way. Humans have been around for a very long time and they have been surviving a bunch of crazy diseases. How, how, who knows? Who knows? But now I want us to, we're going to watch this video. It's a Tucker Carlson video where he interviews that evil doctor who helped invent these most recent vaccines, uh, the mRNA vaccines. And he's fully vaccinated, just so you know. But he believes that a lot of this stuff is based off of 
making money as opposed to actually saving people's lives. And now I know, I know, oh my God, that's a fucking surprise, right? You're surprised they didn't actually want to save you? They didn't want to save you? All they wanted to do was make some fucking money. That's all they're worried about. They're going to make a little bit of money so they can send their kids to private school because your kids ain't going. Unless they wear a fucking mask. Or they get some horse shit in them. That you don't even know what it is. You don't even know what it is. And I'm not even against it. I'm not even against it. If you don't want to get sick, sure. Surely try this. But then at such a grand scale, you have to understand and you have to think. You at least have to think a little bit. Hey, maybe there's some bullshit here. Maybe there's some bullshit here. Probably, right? Probably. It's hard to make that decision, though, because we do want to be good citizens. We do want to do what we, what we feel is right for everyone. Now, going on. Now, let's go on to this information. And I should, have been, I should have had this a little bit earlier, but I didn't know. I wasn't aware. That many have, have um, bought into that this is about culture wars or it's about vaccines. No, it's not. It's about power and money. You know, it's about Spotify's market cap dropping. So fascinating point is that the major owner of Spotify, the top owner of Spotify is also the top owner of Moderna. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So the top owner of Spotify is also the top owner of Moderna. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. Wow, that's fascinating. That's very fascinating. Hmm. What's up with this? Yes. Okay. So, um, this we we have to kind of get out of the frame of reference that we're being that's being pitched to us that this is about culture wars, because it's about way more than culture wars. It's about power and money. And culture wars is a nice, easy way to divide us against ourselves. Right. Culture war is a nice, easy way to divide ourselves. And if you guys could look at my YouTube page, you guys will see a bunch of the different culture war things where we're trying to make a point that there are entities out there that are trying to separate people and they are trying to get people to not agree with majority sentiment and come up with this new sentiment. This new sentiment. What is this new sentiment? It's all about being a good person, right? You want to be a good person. You want to make sure that people have everything that they need to live right, to live properly. But are they living properly? Are they living right? You guys have seen... If this was saving as many lives as they say that it does, I would at least, to the very, I would at, at the very least, I would assume that it's obvious that you are saving lives. You don't have to make commercials about it. You don't have to push it. You don't have to make laws about it. If this was a life-saving measure, I would believe that this information about what it's doing would give us enough. But what is going on here? So what did he say? So he said that the top owner of Moderna is also the top owner of Spotify. So what the hell, what does that even mean? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You guys are going to love. You guys are really, really, really going to love this so uh, so the largest owner and it's so embarrassing that i have to even read this the largest owner of spotify stock also largest owner of moderna uh, amid controversy over the world famous spotify podcaster joe rogan Hosted guest Dr. Robert Malone, credited with inventing the mRNA vaccine technology that is used in COVID-19 vaccines, Malone revealed information about a massive conflict of interest 
on an episode of Tucker Carlson today. I know, right wing guy, blah blah blah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But let's just hear what this what this doctor has to say. Dr. Malone revealed that the largest stakeholder in Spotify, which has been under pressure to censor Rogan for spreading misinformation about COVID-19, is also the largest stakeholder holder in Moderna and Spotify, one of the two companies distributing MRA, mRNA vaccines through for COVID-19. Malone's claims check out. Oh, so he's right. The largest stakeholder in Moderna is Bailey Gifford and company which is a fucking company, obviously, which owns uh, almost 46 million shares of the company's stock, Mm. valued at more than $11.6 billion. Bailey Gifford and company is also the largest stakeholder in Spotify. Oh, drama, drama, all fake bullshit alert, all fake bullshit alert. Bailey Gafford and Company is also Worldwide Asset Management Fund founded in Scotland. Oh, they diversified their funds, so they can't necessarily be pinpointed on one certain news uh, news article news deal because they have a bunch of different investors that invest into it, and certainly not every single one of them have something to do with it. But surely, their interests would be that Moderna and Spotify are pushing their shit to each other. Of course, they don't want Joe Rogan having people on the podcast on Spotify that is owned by Moderna who is selling vaccines, and you don't want Spotify to say no to the vaccines. They're not necessary, even though Joe Rogan is saying that, literally saying that. We've lived millions of years without vaccines, guys. Millions of years we've survived without vaccines. Without them. Surely people have died. People always die. Through each successive generation of partners, our singular focus on generating superior long-term investment results. Oh, my God. You're going to get us some ROI on our... Oh, my God. Thank you so much for getting us a good return on that investment. Love it. Love it. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. But yet we have people fucking dying because of this shit. They're dying because of this horse shit. So that rich people can make more money. Bailey Gifford today is wholly owned by its 47 partners. Oh, convenient. Who of the 47 is it? All of whom work within the firm. Oh, wow. Convenient. It's almost too convenient, right? Growth has been organic, oh, with no mergers or acquisitions. And we are committed to remaining independent. Of course, they're going to grow. They're going to be themselves. It does not disclose who the 47 partners are. No, because they'd be... Who knows what would be happening? Though there is no evidence that the investment giant is engaged in the campaign to silence Rogan, which has mostly promulgated by left-wing activists and washed-up musicians. <laughs> well, this is a right-wing website, surely. The link itself has created an appearance of improper... Proper, I can't even say the word, so do you really want to be listening to what I'm saying? Impropituity. In 2020, the company shifted its investment strategy towards Chinese-based companies because Chinese-based companies are going to be growing. They're growing. They're the um, the emerging market. Edinburgh based investment giant Bailey Gifford is to take over the management of the 215 million uh, quid Witton Pacific Investment Trust place, PLC, uh, and change funds investment objective by investing predominantly in shares of Chinese companies, that website said. The COVID-19 pandemic began in China in late uh, late 2019. Oh, oh, surprise, 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 surprise. Yet we are still here, guys. We are still here. Are you happy about that? We're still here. We are still here. Trucking away, pumping away, doing the best that we can to just get by. And these people brought on a pandemic so that they can make money. So they can make money. There are more important things than money. There are people so damn broke, all they have is their money. 
What are we going to do about this, guys? What can we do about this? Uh.